in two different places. Let's see if this actually works. I'm going to jump across to that one because that one's in a better position. So guys, as you're jumping on, say good day. I'm going to jump off this one because they are both in the Vulcan stream. How cool. Okay, I'm going to jump off here and jump on here. Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you've seen both hey, of hey, these Vulcan lives Vulcan jumping Vulcan. through. I'm going to jump kitchen ghosts happening. I'm going to jump across here. So, uh, wow, 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 what an exciting week we've got. I am just loading everything back up again on my phone so that I am across everyone everywhere. A bit of a breeze happening here. So how's everyone going? I know everyone's panicking a little bit with what's going on, and you rightly should be. Um, it's okay to be in fear right now. It is okay to not feel okay right now. It is fully okay to be finding it very, very difficult um, because we are all experiencing the same thing at the same time. And with love and light and connection, I want to say that um, I hear you, I see you, I feel you all very much. Um, and and I really, my heart goes out to each and every one of you. And I don't know about you guys, but I have felt, if you haven't noticed, incredibly driven to create from this space um, and find ways that I can not only contribute to others, uh, contribute to society. I've just gotten off the phone with... Um, one of my financial advisors who is, she has a massive number of clients up north who are um, running many different businesses. And well, put it this way, I'm just gonna pop you guys here and here and I hope you can all see. Hey guys, hey guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try and come to both cameras today uh, and give you guys both angles. So one is on my personal Facebook, one is on our Vulcan community. Um, I hope you both get everything. Um, so as I was saying today, I'm just gonna do this cook up very quickly and um, I will then be in on site at the Vulcan community uh, in Yatla to do some booking in some coaching calls. I'll be texting everybody, emailing everyone. And guys, I know a lot of you are going through stress right now. I know a lot of you are feeling the pinch very hard right now, but what I want you all to really consider is, and this is the message coming from my accountant, I'm not gonna hold a knife while I say that. Um, right now, mental health is through the roof. And already in just a few days, the suicide rates have gone ridiculously so we're not just dealing with a COVID-19 pandemic we're about to deal with a suicide pandemic as well so now more than ever I feel very 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 passionate about sharing this and reaching out and creating spaces for people to communicate to have a meltdown to talk about what's the basics I can focus on everyone is out there buying up random objects and I will continue to say this the 10 day free health booster is there for everyone and it's there because why should we be wasting our money on things that are ultimately actually going to set us back tenfold in our health right now your mental health your physical health is of paramount importance and the small things that you could be doing to contribute to that would be cooking delicious nutritious foods it would be moving your body. Uh, Vanessa Marie is on our on my private page. She is actually and Vulcan community. I will share this to you all as well. Uh, I'll get Megan's approval, but I'm sure it will be fine. Um, Vanessa Marie is actually my dancing instructor here in Brisbane, and she's had to close down her doors as well. And she is actually now running online dance classes, which I will be joining in myself. And it is, I tell you what, when you get out and dance and you get out and move, it changes your soul's perspective on life. It changes your energy. It changes your happiness. And right now your mental health is, 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 is the biggest thing, guys, your biggest thing. I know everybody went out and bought rice and they bought pasta and they bought bread. That stuff doesn't nourish you. <laughs> In fact, it causes multitudes of problems. So the simplest thing is, is to go and buy these sorts of things whilst it's actually in abundance, while it's still fresh, and cook with it. Freeze down food. Get yourself ready with delicious, nutritious food that's actually going to help you and the family. So I put out a post last night going, someone recommend me some ingredients of which to cook with. And Tracy, she actually recommended that she had some beef mince, some chicken, some pasta, some pumpkin, uh, pasta sauce, some pumpkin and some corn. So I'm going to use those 
with a few other bits in there that would be the basic stuff you find in the house. I don't want to add to ridiculous food bills, but whilst we are also launching the 10 day immune health booster, I will also be adding in some ingredients that I know are going to be top of the list for 98% of you to boost your immune system, clarify the mind, help with the digestion, help ease the digestion and assist your body to cope with stress much better. So what I've done is, hey, Ali, um, what I've done is I have, and you guys have got a good angle there, you've got a good angle. All right, I've got some, some garlic that I've minced up, some Australian garlic, and I've just chopped that down. I've used up some fresh leek, which if you don't have leek, you can use onion. That's totally fine. I just know that for me right now, leek is actually in all the ingredients in the world. Leek right now is my number two ingredient for ultimate health. It has a plethora of benefits of which I'll be sharing in the next couple of weeks what each ingredient actually does for you. Um, but I choose to cook with leek because it's easier on my digestive system and it has the greatest ranking out of all foods for me right now for all of my health. Then um, Tracy's request was, those are two ingredients that most people will have. Then Tracy's request was pumpkin. So I've just grabbed some Jack pumpkin and I've just grated it because most of you will probably, if you are still working, you've probably got kids at home, a husband at home or a partner at home. Um, you've probably got um, minimal time still and your stress levels are probably through the roof and I commend you all for everything you're doing so far. So my recommendation, you could grate the pump, uh, roast the pumpkin, you could steam the pumpkin, chop the pumpkin, whatever you want to do, but I've chosen to grate it because as typical Shana, I haven't got much time today. So I'm just going to make this up very quickly. I don't have frozen corn, but Kelsey, I'm, Kelsey, Kelsey, I'm stealing a thing of corn. I'll get it back. Luckily, we live in a bit of a co-op house here and we just sort of contribute to each other. But you can get the corn off the cob just by slicing down the side and removing the corn kernels, nice and fresh. In this, if you, all you have is frozen, I have no judgment whatsoever because you know what? Even I have some frozen food there. Charlie Cat, for those on my personal page, Charlie wants to know what we're making too. This is my other Charlie. And as soon as he hears the chopping board going and anything that sounds like flesh, Charlie the cat is hot on it and in the kitchen joining me. The other thing I've added, so I've got my tomato jar, and which is the pasta sauce that Tracy requested. And then I have the pumpkin, I have the corn. Now the chicken, guys, right now I'm going on a detox booster protocol. So I'm actually not eating meat, but it's very easy to cook and throw some meat in there. So whether that be beef mince, pork mince, turkey mince, whether that be cooked chicken, raw chicken, roasted chicken, whatever you want. I actually do have some cooked roasted chicken that I've actually put in sandwich bags in the freezer. For when I come off of my, my cleansing detox protocol. Right now, my objection is um, the world's in chaos and my natural response is to eat the world, to feel heavy, to feel safe, to calm my emotions. It's a very natural reaction for me and I'm aware of that. So what I'm doing is doing the, the immune booster detox protocol so that I can assist my body in calming my farm without being emotionally reactive. Very important tip there. The other thing I'm adding today is some little zucchinis, we've got some baby ones, and I'm just going to chop them through. Uh, the next ingredient, which is super, super high on people's list, and you don't have to have this, I'm just showing you what I'm using. I have some, oh, where's this camera? Some fresh thyme here. Mm -hmm. Fresh thyme, and all you do with fresh thyme is you grab the tip of the stalk and you will run your fingers in the reverse to pull all of the leaves off the stem. Time can take time to harvest. <laughs> time takes time, time gives you time. Time takes time. I used to hate this when I was a chef needing to get a lot of it into a massive pot of food, it used to make me cry. Um, then the other thing I'm adding is because, so time, I've shared this before, time has some of the most incredible uh, herbal remedy properties to it. And if you haven't watched any of my other lives of late, um, of late, the medical, um, uh, medical, the global medical uh, webinar that was released the other day had Dr. Albert Garoli stating that Chinese herbal medicine will potentially be the most, the greatest hierarchy of controls in enabling our immune systems uh, globally. It's being recognized and utilized by more and more and more health professions. Um, and it is one to definitely get onto. So I've got fresh thyme, 
And I'm very, very lucky that my housemates have planted basil. Sadly, they removed uh, two plants from the front garden bed and took them out the back to the back garden bed. And I think the front, I think the front basil's kind of missing the back basil and they're not happy right now. So I picked a heap to use it up um, because the basil's not looking very happy. So I'm going to use it while I have it. But basil has an incredible smell, an incredible taste, but its health benefits are absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, so that will be going in the top of my pasta sauce. And then you would put your chicken in. The other spice I'm going to be using is, it's my handwriting, cumin. Cumin. Uh, this one is also ranked as my full highest ingredient for me to consume for my health right now. Um, and if you're going, how do I know this? This is part of the 10 day immune, immune booster program, which is free. It's started today, but it is, there is still plenty of time for everyone to get onto it. Get onto it so you know what to eat, what to buy, what to spend your money on, so that you come out the other side of this healthier version of yourself, a ah, healthier version of yourself. Don't spend COVID-19 slipping away into a heavier, sadder version of who you are. Now is the time to spend the money wisely. Update your health profile. Understand what is best for you. If you already have a PH360 profile, it's already automatically updating. You will see a banner pop up in your heart, in your dashboard very shortly. Um, don't worry, guys, we're getting to the cookie in a second. I just need to get through formalities. Um, if you don't know yet, I've done a bunch of posts on my social profile. Get in there or message me and ask for the direct links to get your health profile done today. If you've had a, a, um, a profile and it lapsed, if you had a short profile and it lapsed and it ended, that's fine. We can reboot you for free. You get free 10-day immune booster knowing what herbs and spices are going to be best for you right now to get you and your family through this. Get everybody in your family measured up. I had the most mindgasmic conversations with my little sister and her partner just last night um, about um, both of their profiles simultaneously, and it was just an incredible conversation to have with them. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is I will also be using some dried herbs because there is some other, some oregano and whatnot in there that I don't have fresh. And if I was to cook it on pasta, I went to Aldi and I bought some black bean pasta. You could use any pastas that you like. And then I also saw someone said to me in the group chat that they have a heap of kale, like a heap of kale. So I've got some left over that's all chopped up and I'm probably going to throw that in the pasta sauce also. So I have got a pan over here heating. And actually I'm going to bring it over here because the cool thing is it's actually a transportable. So while that one's heating... I'm just going to burp on a little bit more. I it, I love where I live because I live with my girlfriend and her partner and their children in their granny flat. And I get to walk into the kitchen sometimes and see like notes like this to their mummy. I love you, mum. You're amazing, mum. Tell us about mummy saying that. How great are kids at lifting your spirits? How great are kids? If you didn't see my training video with the kids the other day, it was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Okay, so into the pan, the hot pan that I have right here. I'm going to throw in my leek and my garlic and start cooking that off. I'm going to throw in, oh, that can cook off for a few seconds. I have got a little bit of um, brown uh, uh, rice bran oil is top for me at the moment. Yes, not coconut oil. Not canola oil. Within your health profile, you can actually find out exactly which oils are best for you. So right now I've got some garlic, some leek, and some fresh thyme cooking off in there. I'm also going to use this opportunity to throw in some of my um, dried oregano and mixed herbs mixed in there. It's like an Italian mix, which is awesome. Um, while that one's cooking off, I'm just going to grab my salt that I totally forgot. And I use cayenne pepper. So my cayenne pepper just boosts your metabolism. It's really, really good for me at the moment. And my pink Himalayan salt, not too much. While I'm on detox, I would not use much of this at all. So I'm only going to use about a half a teaspoon there. I also found a manky piece of capsicum. So I'm going to throw that in there because it's just what I've got in the bottom of the fridge. Still using the main ingredients that Tracy opted in for, which was the corn, the pumpkin, the pasta sauce, and beef or chicken. But like I said to everybody, I'm currently detoxing, so I'm not going to throw the beef or chicken in. 
but you could very easily throw that in at any point. But it's also kind of a good idea to have a few vegetable-based dishes that you can cook from. Start with the vegetable base and then add all your ingredients onto that. I'm going to grab my... You could also be adding into this if you wanted to add in some bulk would be some leeks. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Jaden. Good to see you guys. Clicking that one up. How great are these little Bunsen burner cloths? I absolutely love them. They have saved my backside so many times. Now, the pumpkin, even though it's grated, I'm going to pop that in next because I want that to cook down a little bit. Um, and the benefit is, is it becomes a little bit saucy when I add a little bit of liquid. How many of you out there have ever used papers? or have papers. Does anyone have papers at home? Give me a high five or a yes. The only downside is I cannot see on here anyone's comments. I'm sure someone will message me if they have any questions. Or guys, Vulcan community, if I'm not able to see your comments, please comment them and I will come back in and answer those straight after the live. I didn't touch my face, I touched my glasses. Okay, if you haven't had capers before, these are quite salty, but they also have a massive amount. Like I said, jump into the 10 day booster, jump into my free 10 day support group where I will be sharing where you guys will actually get access yourself to understanding each of these ingredients. So you guys will actually get um, for yourself an understanding of why each of these ingredients may or may not be good for you right now. Who in the Vulcan community would like me to bring some of this down for you guys to try after when I get down there in about, well, I was meant to be heading down there in about five minutes, but I'm totally going to run this over time. Cooking, right? You cannot push a, uh, a dish to cook faster than it wants to. So what I'm actually going to do is a sneaky little trick. I'm actually going to use a tablespoon of the paper juice. A few papers went in there too. That will add a bit of salt, will add a bit of moisture. At this point, I'm also going to add in, you do not have to, but this is what I'm going to use, is some chopped up um, kale. You could use chopped up spinach um, or anything that you would like to hide in there. So with the papers, guys, this actually turns this into more like a... Um, uh, a blah, 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 blah. If I was the main charm I was looking for, it would be, someone help me out, tomatoes, capsicum, capers. Often it will be done with actually olives. Caprioska. Yeah. Caprioska. We're making a version of Caprioska right now. Just without the olives, we're using capers instead of olives. You see, I kind of bastardise everything. Because for me, it's more about ensuring that you guys get as much nutrition as you can out of what you're using and using what you have in the house. Because I've used some of the caper juice, quite often I would actually use a little bit of apple cider vinegar to add a bit of a, a vinegar content because we've got the tomato going in there. So we want to counteract the acidity of the tomato with an acidity like an apple cider vinegar or a white vinegar or a balsamic vinegar and a little bit of salt. Now, I want this to get quite saucy. I'm going to get fierce and make it quite saucy. I'm actually going to add a little bit of, because um, I used a bit of this last night on my salad. Um, I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to the top of this, shake it through and add it to the sauce. Shake, shake, shake. Another big one, another health booster is I have lemon every morning as soon as I wake up. Just a half a lemon in some warm water and I just let that do its thing. And then I have my breakfast and whatnot. So the guys in the camera up top here can see what's happening. Guys on the phone. Ooh. Sauce is in there now. It's bubbling away nicely. How's this for DIY cooking? The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of lemon in, just the other half of my lemon from this morning, using my hands to catch the seeds. 
I always rinse all of my lemons, so my next step should not shock you. I'm actually going to just throw that into the sauce and let that cook through. Pop my seeds to the side. Actually, no. Any questions, guys, about cooking at the moment? Anything that you've been wanting to try? Anything you've had a taste for and haven't been able to figure out how to use it? Let me know. And everybody who is watching, please make sure you do the COVID-19 10-day booster and um, and get into that. Oh, actually, while I'm here, who likes desserts? That needs to cook for a minute, so we're just going to burp on. Um, who likes desserts? And who knows you're probably going to want some desserts in the next couple of months? Who not only likes desserts, who likes to know that they're slightly a little bit more beneficial for you and not full of junk? Who likes desserts out there? What I discovered the last couple of days going through some things is that I actually found 200, 200, not just a couple, 200 cookbooks of mine. And for those who didn't know, yeah, I wrote a cookbook. And I have everyone who bought the first cookbook begging me to write the next one. And who knows, COVID-19 might actually provide me the opportunity to create the next cookbook, which I have. I've been doing cooking classes for years, so I actually have a whole host of um, cooking classes uh, that I can bring together into genetic-specific cooking cookbooks uh, with all millions of variations. But what I did find is the the, uh, the box full of my Naughty But Nice cookbooks. So yes, as you can tell, Naughty But Nice, uh, they are the desserts and sweet things and smoothies and raw treats. Um, inside of there, you will see there's some breakfast options, uh, my raw cherry ripe chocolate cheesecake, the healthy cheeky chocolate mousse. One thing to recommend to everybody is that this cookbook was made before I was fully into PH360. I now would recommend that if you have the cookbook already or and you're getting your genetic profile and discovering that potentially some of the ingredients that are used in it maybe not maybe are not the greatest for you, I am absolutely happy for you to reach out to me and go, Shani, it has dates in it and dates are absolutely terrible for me. What can I use instead? I would love that conversation to support you guys and, and assist you with making sure that these treats that you're going to make are actually going to be very beneficial for you tenfold. We also have a whole host of raw vegetable, um, raw treat balls. Um, then what do we got? Smoothies. I feel like I'm reading you guys a story. Then we have um, Naughty Bit Nice Banana Bread. Uh, Naughty Bit Nice Vegan Brownies. Sweet potato brownies, uh, naughty but nice chocolate chip peanut butter cookies, which, hold on, which straight off the bat for every single person right now with COVID-19, we are trying to find ways to avoid inflammation at all costs. Peanuts are inflammatory. Peanuts are very, 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 very inflammatory for every single one of you. So please. Go find, yes, it's an Aldi brand. It's probably not organic, but almond butter. Switch it for almond butter and you will be happy, healthy, and delicious. Um, what else do I have any? So anyway, so this uh, here, I have to share this one because this one's one that everyone loves. So there is a the cheeky, the, the um, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies that I actually show you how to make into vegan ice cream sandwiches. This will be one you can and would and will want to make with the children. The cookie dough can be used inside the ice cream to make cookie dough ice cream or cookie dough balls. These are a big win. Anyway, so this was actually designed in Brisbane. A friend of mine and I made it in nine weeks for his design project. They were printed in North Brisbane. So I didn't take this offshore anywhere, but what I have done is I found 200 of the books sitting there and normally I was selling them for $20 to cover my costs because, yes, I didn't go off set offshore. So it actually cost me just over, uh, what it cost me? $12.97 a book to print. But what I'm actually doing with the COVID-19 is $5, $5 each, and then you just pay for shipping. So if you would like to gift someone or gift yourself a cookbook and support yours truly, um, it's better to get something back than nothing back and it's better to have these in people's homes than have them sitting in a box in my cupboards. 
So if you would like to get your hands on a Naughty Bit Nice cookbook, please reach out. I would adore the chance to see these popping up in different people's news feeds. Um, and there is a whole host of delightful treats inside that book. So while I'm here, a shameful, shameless plug-in because actually I don't want to see the box sitting there. Uh, this is looking fantastic. It's almost done. What I'm now going to do is back on target is I'm actually now going to grab my fresh basil. I'm going to chop that one up. And just in case Kelsey decides to feed this to the kids as well, I'm not going to put the cayenne pepper into the dish. I will leave that for the individual to put on as you like and fresh cracked black pepper. And then this will go. Oh my God, that smells unbelievably divine. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of extra cumin. I don't even know if I actually put the cumin in there at the beginning. I was too busy talking. But that is absolutely okay. All right. I'm going to show you guys. How good does that look? Now, you could put into this, so a lot of you are going to realise if you do your 10-day immune booster that, let me switch this around for you guys, this is amazing uh, to put seafood in. So a lot of you may see that seafood is really, 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 really incredible. So this might be um, shellfish, it might be oily fish, it might be white fish. Your list will actually tell you for your genetics right now what is best for you. Um, Maybe you could put some uh, beef in there, some chicken, some turkey, some pork, some veal. Anything would go nice in there or just simply itself served on pasta. Like I said, I will use the black bean pasta because it's delicious and it's very, very high in protein and low in carbohydrates. Um, but before I go, I have one last tip for you all. It's been recommended by the government that we all drink lots of warm teas and keep our throat warm and our bodies happy and healthy. So I thought I would show you guys. I got this ages ago. This is called oolong tea, which I know is very, very high for a lot of our clients. Get into the Asian and the Indian shops, guys, the food grocers. They've got a whole host of the teas, the spices, everything you need. You can actually get cheaper and in better portions or quantities um, in the – Asian grocers, I know that at the moment for myself and a lot of my clients, um, the chai tea is very, 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 very high rated at the moment. I have this during the day instead of having too much coffee. And then at night time, because I know that if I have tea at night time, I'm less likely to gorge on other things. I say less likely unless we're in the middle of a COVID-19 and I'm really, really stressed. I am human too, but I'm working on it and I'm aware of it. So the other thing I have is the dandy chai, which you can also buy from Coles. I haven't seen it in Woolworths because I don't go there, but that's the one to look out for. That means you can have it at night time because there's no caffeine. And at the moment, guys, after 2, 3 o'clock, you want to be knocking that caffeine right on the head, especially even for us big bodies. Knock it off. Let the body calm down and, and enjoy a nice cup of tea at night time straight after dinner. will be so wonderful for you. I'm going to wrap this one up and take it in with me for my lunch today. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And anybody down there at Yatla who would like to try some, it'll still be hot. Have a great day, guys. Message me if you would like a cookbook. Message me if you would like some ideas and some recipes. If you want me to show you how to whip something up with some other ingredients, um, go for it. I'm actually thinking that next Wednesday, yeah, next Wednesday I'm going to share with you guys something that I used to do inside of my cooking classes all the time, and it's called my Metabolic Flavor Saver. If you guys have heard of that one before, give us a high five, give us a thumbs up or a like, or maybe you didn't like it. Give us a thumbs down. Your choice is totally fine. You're an individual. Um, next week I will do the Metabolic Flavor Saver. Why? Because it boosts your metabolism, boosts your immune system, and is guaranteed to make everything and I mean everything, tastes freaking amazing. Um, and who knows, maybe at the end of this we might be left with next to nothing and that metabolic flavour saver might be the thing that gives you some sanity and gives you some bliss whilst you're eating. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you, Yatla guys, in ETA 20, maybe 25 minutes. Everybody else, stay tuned. Um, get on to the 10-day booster program. It is free for everybody. The links I will drop in this video, um, I will drop in the comments. Uh, Yatla team, 
y'all have got an opportunity, Yatla, sorry, New Zealand and Yatla teams, you guys have got an opportunity to find out for free what your partners are, what your family members are, your children are up from 18 years and older or 17, 18 years older, you can get them done too, for free. Free. They get 10 days of the immune booster for free and they get a full month of their genetic profile and access to the Shea app on their phone. Why wouldn't you? Love you guys so much. Doing this for the community and for the fact that food is medicine. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys soon. What? Technology.